Hi, I'm Nicholas Lopez. This is my model, Michael. Um, today we're going to start with uh, some special effects work. We're going to use alcohol base and grease paint with, with Ben Nye and uh, a lot of the Skin Illustrator FX palette and maybe the Zombie palette. Um, um, and I won first place in advanced face painting in, uh, in Fabake of 2017. Uh, also second place uh, in advanced body painting. So yeah, so we're going to begin with um, alcohol base lacerations. So here's the, the Skin Illustrator Special Effects palette. Um, it comes with a huge variety of blood tones. Um, there is a lot of the blood tones, the yellows, the greens, and the white black to add a uh, value. So right now we're going to be applying aged blood, blood tone, and some prime red. So first, what we do is that we're going to do a nice laceration across his forehead right here. So it doesn't really need to be perfect because it's just like the undertone. It's like, a, it's like an orangey red. From there, you can dry brush a little bit of the edges to add irritation. It doesn't need to be perfect. You could just literally just do tiny little blobs on his head if you want to. What you could do is grab your alcohol, apply some in your hand. And if you're a righty or lefty, you just use the opposite hand. With your finger, you just spread it around. So here's the main idea. It's just a simple base and then the irritation. Uh, right now we're going to go with the darker tones to add um, some shading inside of the laceration. Uh, oh, and your palette is your best friend, so you could just apply as much as you want here and then just grab the alcohol to water it down if you need. Add a little bit of black on one side. Right, so this is just a simple, simple like laceration. Uh, later, we're going to be adding highlights with a bit of white and you know the prime red to make like a pinkish tone. We're going to add some white on the inside for highlights to make it look juicy. Right, I'm making the deepest part a little bit darker by adding uh, the aged blood and black. It's not going to give me like a solid black, but with the red, it'll make it look lot darker. And working with this, don't use 70, like 70% 70 uh, alcohol. It's a lot easier to clean with 99% um, because, because of course it's stronger. That so here we're going to use prime red, a bit of white, maybe some yellow red to make like a nice like fleshy bonish tone. So right here is like a simple pink like a light pink base mostly for the bottom part then just add like a like a very like light pink whitish so that it's not just solid white because it doesn't look that organic and don't be afraid to like use your finger to blend Right now I'm just adding some highlights on the inside of the laceration. Right here you can do like an alcohol based blood trailish area right here. Then from here you can grab the Fleet Street Bloodworks. And with your spatula, you can move it across and up inside of the actual shadowed part of your laceration. Then just wiggle it down over your already placed alcohol blood trail. And there you go. A very simple, quick laceration on the head. So Lopez, we're going to be doing now uh, a third degree um, laceration across the like the forehead to model the two bottles, both A and B, so you have to do a 50-50 mix in between. Um, I recommend using a spatula, like one of these, you know, to mix it evenly. 
also. So you know, now that you have placed uh, both the A and B on your uh, on your spatula, now you can mix them both so that they have so that they can solidify together. Now the work time on this is about six to seven minutes, so I suggest working rather quickly on the mixing part. So just a simple mix, not like a whip, but like like this is whipping. Don't do that because it'll create bubbling. So and right here, I'm just going to be grabbing maybe like a little bit less than half on the edge. And then uh, from there, we're going to be applying it. Now, you would want the actual silicone to be on the outside layer, so it's like so you can make like lifted, uh, a little bit angled, and then just drag it across. Move it around, wiggle it. There you go. Then, do it again on the bottom part. Right, so from here, you could, say like if you have extra, you know, I could even do, say, a bullet hole. So. On top, and there, it's like a simple. And from here, you, of course, clean it after. This part, you can place alcohol in your opposite hand, like your non-dominant, and then just blend up the edges with your finger, with the alcohol base. Uh, the silicone doesn't stick onto your finger when you uh, apply alcohol onto it. So from there, you can add a bit of texturing or even blending. You can even, like, mess it around with it. So right here, the, the silicone is uh, kind of droopy, which that's my fault. I should have been like waiting a little bit longer so it could get a little bit more solid. So with your spatula, your clean spatula, you could just open it up a little bit more and just lift some areas. There you go. And then with the bullet hole, you do the same thing. Just blend up some edges. So from here, we just let it solidify. So we're going to be doing prime red, blood tone, and aged blood, and a bit of black. So here is the bright red base on the inside. And here is the bit of bright red on the bullet hole. So here for the bullet hole, here for the bullet hole, you can add a little bit more red along the bottom part of the edge because sometimes the skin like flaps out a little bit. And so here's a little bit of a lighter tone on top here. And even you could just drop like simple sketch of blood. Then we're going to add some black and some burgundy to it. And uh, the entrance wound isn't necessarily like a deep black hole. Like some spots can be, like kind of like the some of it, like the top-ish area and some the bottom, because the skin tends to close as well. So we're just doing it like this. So yeah, so the bullet hole has like a very like subtle, more up top type of black, you know. And uh, the same for the wound, because uh, the skin tends to sag as well. Add the pink to the skin that's sagging layer. And here's the pinkish area. You could even add some in the inside of the, the bullet hole for highlight, so you can use your finger to make some of the paint like go away. Ben Nye bruise wheel. 
we can do the um, the irritated skin area. And as I may have said before, don't be scared for using your finger at all. It's there and it's handy. So here's the irritated area and we can go over that with some alcohol base just to add a little bit of where your blood trail would be. Maybe if you want, say, from the bullet hole, if you want some splatters, you could just do some stippling on top. Fleet Saint Blood Works, uh, drying blood dark tone, for instance, but I choose to apply with uh, the sharp point of a spatula. And then you just drag it like how I did with um, the silicone. You put it at the top layer, then you just let it kind of go. Here we're applying a little bit to the bullet wound, so to make it look a bit juicy, you apply it to the top layer. So here's the trail of blood that we're going with. So, just keep going over the splatters and a little bit on the edges as well. You can just break it apart a little bit with your finger for the bottom layer where it sags and just a bit for the bullet hole. Add what you have left with your blood, break it apart with your finger. That's it. Laceration across the head with third degree and a bullet hole in the forehead with third degree. Hi, I'm Nick Lopez. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Um, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, it's Nick Lopez underscore art. And for my, and for my company uh, Instagram, it is 24art with the number four in between. Thank you.